mind coming over here? Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Play's Dragon's Dogma 2. We're here in Bakbatal, and we are on a mission from Sarah. Sarah being Brocker's assistant apprentice, whatever her title may be, and we need Glimmer Coal. So back in Vern, I just love what's up with all these rabbits. Is it? I'm trying to say, does it belong to someone? A little rabbit farm, but, but anyway, I guess if you need rabbit pelts, here's where you can get some. But we got a dulled regalia sword from Roman, a guard in Vernworth, the capital city of Vermund. And we were, whoops, didn't realize we had all sorts of things going on. We got some goblins, we got a griffin who might be flying in. Actually, I would relish the chance to fight another griffin. But the problem is, it is uh, it is in poor, poor shape, and he has tasked us with getting it uh, back to its fighting glory. So we brought it here to Bakbatal after we checked with the one blacksmith in Vermund. I can't remember what his name is. And he said, really, the only blacksmith that should be able to take care of this is in Bakbatal, which is why we are here. Now, Brocker has said that he has retired from blacksmithing, so he's not going to be of any use. But Sarah seems to think if we bring him at least 15 pieces of Glimmer Coal to fire up his forge, then he will sing another tune. So that's what we're working towards right now. Now we have 15 pieces in our inventory already, but the quest very, very specifically says to bring uh -oh, at least at least 15 pieces. And so I'm thinking maybe there's more reward if you, oh, Spiral Shot is really fun. Look at that. And then I just kick it for good measure. That's a lot of fun. But yeah, so the quest, the quest specifically says at least 15 pieces. So I'm thinking if we bring more, then maybe we will get a better reward. More gold or something, who knows. So that's what we're doing. We're going to head back to, I think it's called Digger's Respite or something like that. Or it might just be Digger's Cave. And we're going to see if we can't find some more. It's a really, really cool cave anyway. And I also had noticed when we first went in that all of the Glimmer Coal, not the Glimmer Coal or Glimmercally, however you pronounce it, it actually does glow. So what we can do is we can enter... Why is my lantern on? We can enter with our lantern off, locate the Glimmer Coal, and then we can hopefully get at least another, I don't know, 15 pieces or so, and surprise Sarah with it. Alright, so let's head in. Hopefully it's respawned, or at least there's going to be some pieces that we missed. Just look at this cavern. So this is not the Glimmer Coal. But you can see some glowing pieces like there and there. Yeah, so we definitely have some. I don't know if monsters have respawned. Also, can I get some for mining? I'm not sure, but I'm a lot lighter now, so we can uh, we can definitely stock up on some of these ores as well. Ooh, uh, so I don't actually have much in the way of magic, but I do have some explosive arrows that'll do the trick. Perfect. Okay, so let's just start grabbing Glimmercally, Glimmer Coal. I like that it says you found some. So, let's turn this off. There's a piece over there. A strange sort that ventures willingly into darkness. See how I just caught him as he was coming? That's great. Glimmer coal. Yeah. Oh, a couple of pieces there. Wonderful. And I mean, everything else doesn't seem to have a use. So whatever, whatever it's good for, whatever it sells for, I can just sell the lot of it. I think I had something like 70 pieces in inventory. This is also here. Let's go ahead and turn this off really quickly. To this. this is just going to be... Oh, just kidding. 
So it seems like maybe it only glows until you get close or until the light touches it and then it stops entirely. Oh, I can't even see. We, we're going to have to turn that on. Yep. Turn that on. And we're just going to do arrow kick, arrow kick. You haven't forgotten us, have you, Master? No, did I tell you to wait? I don't think I did. Are you somehow trapped? Sounds like a very much a you problem. Okay, there's some. Alright, light off for a second. There's some over there. And some over there. I know it's going to be extremely hard to see right now, so just bear with me. No, it actually does stay glowing until you get... Until you actually shine a light on it, so that's really good. So there's a piece that I missed. Yeah, we'll just completely loot this place a second time. I think, though, I do have to drop down onto that piece. Apparently from much higher than I would like. There it is. I really like that this actually glows. So what else do we have? Oh, got a slime there. Oh, Archer is really fun. By the way, speaking of Archer, we are only 530 discipline points away from maxing it out. I didn't do anything off camera. Instead, I have just decided I would do it all in our normal, normal playthrough, and we're going to get it by the time we leave this this uh, cave. Guarantee it. Thought I got an explosive arrow off. Is that going to be a twofer? Yep, that was a twofer. Um, not seeing a lot of glowing right now. Or any for that matter. We could move this boulder if we work together. Okay, let's get some light going because I just can't see anything. There's some up there you can still see glowing. Uh, should I not have dropped down, I guess? Okay, lights off. As a matter of fact, lights on. <laughs> curious thing. One of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. <laughs> so various, what does that mean? I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Like what? Okay, why can't I make this jump anymore? There we go. What is that information going to do for you? How is how is that going to better serve you? Very, very curious. Is there more glamour -cally? All right, what are we sitting on right now? Seven. Seven pieces of glimmer coal already. Not too bad at all. Okay, lantern off. Beautiful. There's eight. And I did kick the ladder down. Now, there might be another Grim Ogre in here. Uh, I did see glowing. I thought. There it is. And I'm already heavy. Yep, there's another. Oh, no, Grim. Oh, it's a Grim Minotaur. Was it a Minotaur last time? I'm not sure, but he's also injured, which is fascinating. All right, spiral arrow right to the head if I can. Wow, that was a quick kill. Holy cow. <laughs> Wait, oh, I just jumped on Hawk. Sorry, Hawk. <laughs> that was great. All right, there's some more Glimmer Coal. Let's turn our lantern off. I will have to dump onto Silverius here soon. So 
So that's a uh, nine or ten. I believe. I can't see, but will I automatically target? I think this is glimmer coal right here. I've seen what's needed here amidst what we have in storage. I mean, that sure looks like ore. 53 for Silvarius. Can I... I can't break that. I like that Hawk just yelled at me like, Hey, you know, we we have this stuff. Hold on, let's go back to the arena. Again, I'm just going to get as much as I can. I feel like it just... It can't hurt. Oh, that's the way we came. Danger might look. Tad too high, me thanks. Leave this to me, master. Really wasn't that high. Shall I assist? Also, do the chests respawn? So soon. And if so, how long does it take? Because my gosh, it has been it has been a long time. Not seen any more glow yet. Okay, explosive arrow. Fear not. You're safe with me. We must be extremely close to maxing out Archer. I am excited to see what the last level brings. Okay, travel in darkness just for a little bit. How many pieces did we get now? We're up to 10. Okay, I was hoping to double it. I know that there's at least one more that I saw. Oh, here's another piece. There we go. Okay. So that brings us up to 12. Jeepers. <laughs> Very heavy. What is going on? Oh, I hope this stuff sells. Now, where was that other piece down on that... Actually, I see at least two more. Can I, I can't drop here, though. There we go. I hear the slime down below. There we go. So that should be 13. One of us has been drenched. I gotcha. Okay, turn this off. The other piece I think was right... I thought it was right over there, so it might have just stopped glowing because whoop, of our proximity. Well, I think we do. We're just kind of going for the overkill option. Yeah, so this might be, these might be the last nodes here. Vocation rank up. There we go. We've maxed it out. And I think we actually have 15. We do, we have exactly 15. So we have doubled what we have. So it is time to head back. Yeah, I think we've pretty much cleared the mine anyway. There we go. Oh, there's more. And more glimmer. Look, two more pieces of glimmer coal. Oh, Rocker better be happy. Rocker better be thrilled, I tell you. Oh, look. <laughs> Even more. Yonder, just waiting to be harvested. Wow. Well, well. That's quite a discovery. Over encumbered. Do I start taking damage? Didn't you start taking? Oh, you just walk incredibly slow and you can't dash. All right, let's 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 remedy this a little bit. So let's see. 61. There. Now you're heavy and I'm average. <laughs> oh, that was... I was going to say that was well done and, and then it was well done. Ow. My super cool kick move just got me in trouble. 
But also, I want to go back up there because I think there was more nodes. There are. No. Can't stop, won't stop. I have a problem. <laughs> and that problem can only be cured with more glimmer coal. Okay, I really do think that that is all of it, though. Here's another. <laughs> Jeez. Come on, grab it. Well, on back to Bakbatal. Turn in this cool quest. There's more. And even more Glimmer Coal. Come on now. Give me all of it. I don't mind being heavy. I'm gonna I'm about to get rid of it all anyway. Leave no stone unturned. Oh, like I don't I don't think we did. I think all stones have been turned. Just know if we can be of assistance, Arisen. There, master. Red wolves. Help. <laughs> Help. Aim down. Aim down, Julie. Uh, and someone, I guess, needs our help. The enemy flees before us. Spiral arrow is really, really cool. Okay, who needs help? Who's who's right here? No one seems to be right here. Where are they? There was one more. Ah, they mean us harm. How adorable. I suppose it is so. Oh, maybe down here, whoever's fighting. Alright, let's loop around. See if we can help this person out or this pawn, whatever it might be. I guess someone didn't need help. Fair enough. Alright, time to go back. And then I think what we'll do is we'll spend the rest of this episode as Archer. As an Archer, not Archer the character, but we'll we'll spend the rest of this episode as an Archer. And the next time you see me, I dare say I'll be a new vocation. And I'm not, I haven't decided which I'm going to be. I am leaning towards Magic Archer just because it's so curious. I'll be honest, and maybe I'm completely wrong for thinking this. Warfare does not sound interesting. If you didn't know, Warfare is just kind of the jack of all trades. It allows you to play as any of the other vocations simply by having the requisite weapon on you. But it just doesn't... I don't know. I'd rather have a specialty. Maybe that's the wrong way of thinking. But that is currently how I'm thinking. So Magic Archer is up there. Uh, Mage and Sorcerer. Sorcerer could be fun just because I already have the Master Technique from Mirrodin from the Checkpoint Rest Town. We also do need to play again as the Mystic Spear Hand because we finally got the Ultimate Technique from Sigurd in the last episode. So we've got, we've got some choices. There are a total of nine vocations. I have, oh, ooh, ooh, actually, hmm. The answer might be none of the above. The answer might end up being fighter for the explicit reason, for the explicit reason that I have some really cool weapons, including the mirror shield that I want to use against Medusa. And we need to cut off Medusa's head while we're at it. All right, 
So we're going to withdraw. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh... He can't do that. How much how much can you hold? Because I'm gonna sell the rest of it. Can't inventory is full, cannot receive items. I don't know. What does that mean? What does that mean your inventory is full? Can you only hold like a certain number? What if Okay, so I'm, I'm over encumbered. Always a pleasure. But I can just saunter. You gathered plenty of glimmer coal. Oh, I like that the quest actually tells you that. So now we just have a leisurely stroll. It's not far at all. Oh, this is terrible. Can I can I give him enough? How much is he currently holding? Sixty one. So if I gave him like thirty. If I gave you 30 pieces, I'm still over encumbered. Okay, what if I give Hawk 30 pieces? There we go. I'm, I'm that's better. As nimble as I'd like to be. Yeah, I know it's hilarious, but that's all right. You'll make it. Oh, he's so slow. So I'll turn all that in. I gotta make sure that I have it on me. Then we'll we'll stop by the vocation guild here soon. I don't know if this is just the quest to make a new sword, but let's wait because I want to make sure items. Uh, do I have all of it? I have thirty six pieces. Wow. You're back. Have you? I got a little bit. Oh, so I have to. Oh, does she have a max she'll take? You said you'd do it all. Does that mean I can sell the rest? Look at it all. This'll last us a good while. You've my gratitude. Brocker, we've got more glimmer coal. Now we can reignite the forge. Tisn't the forge what needs igniting, girl, but your fool ears. I've told you, my smithing days ended when those monsters moved in. I've no use for glimmer coal anymore. I'm done, understand? I'll not hear another word about that rusted hunk of steel. If you're so keen to have it repaired, then see to it yourself. Oh, leave me be. My mattress beckons. I don't think Sarah knows Brocker as well as she thinks. First, there was the whole issue with Dwenner, the elf, and we were told, oh, just bring some Nutriob and he'll do anything you say. No, he absolutely won't. And then, oh, just bring him some Glimmer Coal. He'll, he'll get to smithing again. No, he won't. Brocker has made up his mind. Oh, I was certain he'd pick up his tools again if we only had more Glimmer Coal. My apologies for putting you to all that trouble, sir, but... Mayhap your efforts needn't go to waste. I could try my hand at repairing that sword for you, if you'd be agreeable. Way I see it, if old Brock is the only smith with the skill to see it done, then I'm your best hope, being as I'm his apprentice and all. Well, what say you? Wait, why do I have to refuse? Where's my accept? I understand, though it is not the answer I'd hoped for, if I'm honest. You know where to find me, should you change your mind. I changed my mind. We have refused Sir Sarah's offer. Though I do wonder whether anyone else has a hope of restoring the blade. Probably not. Well, now, find someone else? I'm not sure. What? Back again, I see. I, I understand. Well, you know where to find Something's not adding up. We're gonna we're gonna rest and come back because there's obviously a way to get her to accept. Do I just have to quote unquote think about it? All right. Anyway, vocation killed. It is time to max out the archer. Like 
fish doesn't spring up overnight. Sorry, Sai, I didn't mean to talk to you. Looking no need to overthink it. You can Okay, we get a new augment. Avidity enables you to clamber up cliffs and scale foes and other surfaces more quickly. This sounds perfect for thief. So it's really nice that we can unlock it and then use it for the thief. Okay, weapon skills. Wow, the that's not very much. So blighting shot becomes innocuous shot. Okay. And now archers max out. It, it is a little disappointing when you max something out and you really don't get much for it. You'd think that the very best skills would be locked behind it. Change it on a whim. You... No secret tokens. Okay. Doing Interesting. I, you know. No. I was going to say, do I need to raise the affinity with Sarah? But that doesn't make any sense. Why would I need to raise affinity when she's asking me if I want her to do something? That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Oh shoot, I don't really have someone to readily sell this stuff to, do I? Because Isaac is, um, <clears throat> temporarily out of business. Looking for ought in particular. Oh, there we go. Ooh, you sell dried stuff. Actually, this is really useful. Because sometimes getting the dried meats and spud and all that, and especially dry spud, in fact, I will... I will buy all that I can because I really actually have dried spuds because you have to have ripened hard spuds in your inventory, which I very rarely do. And let's see. Wow, these, these sell for garbage, huh? The Glimmer Coal sells for only 30 gold more than the Glimmercoly, but let's get rid of it. Silvarius. Hey, 13,000, I'll take that. Thank you for your patronage. I do so enjoy stocking up on supplies. Uh, tell you what. I was told so if you guys wait here have my support. and I go to the inn, it's supposedly cheaper? Is that right? Given the state of things. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Do come again. So we got to go to the other inn for the uh, 2,000 a night bed instead of the 10,000. That's interesting. Is it just because that particular innkeeper hates pawns? And this one does not? I mean, they're both bistrin. Alright, let's rest. Hey, another 800 Rift Crystals. What do we get? Pity Wart, Mighty Robrant, Malleating Elixir. All right. <laughs> Awasha, you are just the best. I hope you're having fun with uh, with our good friend here. Said new pond quest. You know the drill. We're going to keep going. Wow, I've only killed a single Gore Chimera. You only need 10 to get the Medusa pawn, or uh, Medusa badge. Oh, Lesser Dragon. Also, I guess I don't know the difference between a Garm and a Warg. So I now have all of them unlocked. No, I don't have this. What is that? Hmm. I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, let's do Grim Obliterator. Gold, 10,000. You got it. You'll not believe. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Off and let's let's hope Sarah well? gives me a new option. It seems it, that just seems bugged. Oh wait, where am I going? Wrong way. I know it says that I should. I need to find someone else, but. She has a refuse button, which means she has an accept button, and I just can't see it for some reason. They can be most convenient, though they travel only during the day. All right, Sarah. Back again, I see. 
I understand. Well, you know where to find. Okay. That's interesting. So I do, I do have another idea, and I wish I had left a port crystal. But remember, a good friend, uh, Goutstifer, Goutstifer, the dwarf that we helped get to the hot springs. He's a smith, and he said that I could stop by to check out his smithing ability. So maybe, maybe that's where we have to run. I mean, we could check the elves. I don't see the elves as being particularly helpful. I mean, I could check it out though. Find someone else. With the renowned blacksmith Brocker utterly set in retirement, it seems you must find another to restore the regalia sword. No, look, look, our quest marker is still here and it specifically says Sarah. Should we give her a gift? What is Sarah like? All right, let's filter. Sarah likes adorable items and beautiful items. How about, I don't know what adorable would be, but beauty? I could offer her some flowers. And again, I don't see how raising her, her friendship status with me would, would work, but. I may have to. And I guess it's an implement. What if I gave her a, a rotten Medusa head? It's kind of adorable. And if this doesn't work, then I'm going to consider it bugged, and I'm going to reach out to all of you to say, help, 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 what's wrong? What have I done? Is there any bench that I could sit at instead of... Be shy. Oh, sorry. I was I would have watched the show, but you weren't doing anything. Back again, I see. I, I understand. Wait, can I even well, you know where Can I get even give her I can't even give her a gift. I, I understand. Well, you know where to Alright. So I I would go to Gautstifer, except the quest very clearly says I need to go there. Maybe I just need to allow more time to take place. Okay, I guess I guess this is what we're going to be doing now. Let's do Candle in the Storm and see where this leads us. No, we won't. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Nope, sorry. I'll follow you, Hawk. Hmm. I'm real I'm just sitting here thinking. Like the the quest doesn't have any more hints as to what maybe I should do. We haven't gone this way, have we? Oh. Okay. This is kind of exciting. And you're going that way. What's this? Hold on, what's this? No unauthorized entry. Trespassers will be punished to the fullest extent of the law. Have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. The Forbidden Magic Research Laboratory is under the direct command of Lord Phasius. Phases. No documents or other articles are to be taken from the premises without his leave, and no persons may gain entry without his permission. It's not our place to hurry the arisen. Yet I can go right in. Okay. Put a pin in that one. But they really keep these people locked away, huh? But first... Have I been there? No, I haven't. 
because I took this road through Travnir's Grotto to get down to the Volcanic Island camp, but there's also all of this. I haven't done that. That looks very cool. Okay, what's the name of this Riftstone? Riftstone of Abundance. I always try to kind of guess as to what the different uh, Riftstone names mean, but yeah, you got me with that one. We cannot accompany you there, Master. But can't you see I'm I do hope I'm just allowed in. It's well, I trust. And I'm here on official business, right? Makeshift jail. You know, it does say makeshift jail key. It doesn't say Vernworth or Vermund. I mean, can I just outright tell them that Nadinia sent me? What are ye doing here? Come to laugh at me, have ye? Suppose it must make ye feel a hero, seeing the man ye caught yourself sitting behind bars. But ye ain't fool enough to think the Empress is safe now I'm in here, are ye? Why would I just give him gold? Let's question him first. Go on then, and don't come back. See? He opened right up. What's this? Come for another laugh, have you? Your coin's a fine thing. Even in a place like this, it's got its uses. Reckon ye must be touched in the head, giving coin to a would-be murderer just to hear his story. Still, suppose... I'm no longer a part of this, so I'll tell ye a little something, as thanks for your generosity, cuz. I got this job by way of the coral snakes. I only did as I was instructed. Ooh, the coral snakes. Haven't heard about them for a while. If you want to know who I am in the first place, you're best off asking a snake. Lucky for ye, there's one right here in the jail. The rogue revealed whose orders he was following. Okay. Is there anyone else I can talk to in here? Report back to Salmonella. I, I know it's Salmonella. It's just funnier to say Salmonella. Have you some business with me? Nope. I do, however, want this. Ooh, exquisite robering. That's a good one. Kick. Don't even worry about the bow. Just kick. Oh. Whoa, this is the forbidden research lab? I'm gonna get in trouble. Uh oh. What am I doing here? Uh, I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> I don't want to get thrown in jail because then I have to use my key. If the key even works here. Okay. Oh... What are you doing? Gone and chipped a fang. I got to keep my wits about me.
Oh, testing room? Okay. What is in that? So you'd make a fool of me, would you? Silver crown. Didn't I need that? For this bow? Oh, some notes. Journal of Prisoner Becrasis, fourth entry. I myself will be sent to the pyre ere long. Tis surely only a matter of time, yet I shall face my end without regret, and with my head held high, for there is no flame that can eradicate the truth or reduce my soul to ashes. And with my dying breath I shall utter these words. Glory to Batal and her unwritten story. Death to Faleri the unjust, self-seeking emperor and deceiver of the people. Close the door, close the door, close the door. Look at all these Saurian tit. Blend in with the Saurian tails. <laughs> Is this for real? <laughs> what if I tried to talk to you? If I am to prove my theory, I must needs experiment. You just don't care. Oh, new liquor, hey. Lamond would have liked that. This is odd that you guys don't mind. Do be quick. I fear my time is in short supply. Okay. Why am I free? Is it because I have the crystals on me? I think they did say if you had the crystals, you could. What is this? I see a Seeker's token. No? Your name is Lion. It's kind of on the nose, don't you think? Workshop number two. Recollections of Ambrosius. Third entry. Okay, Ambrosius is the guy on the beach who's telling me to look for these blue crystals. Eventually, this research became little more than a pretext. Forbidden magic was reduced to a mere diversion, enjoyed by a small group of elderly sorcerers, it was Lord Phasus, a third their age and yet with thrice their brilliance, who restored the art to its former glory. It was also he who rescued me from the dull duty of archivist and renewed my hope for the future. From our very first meeting, I knew that if anyone could unravel the truth of this world, it was he. Curious why they have this dragon. Hey, the legend of Danaus and the Medusa. The beast was twofold the height of any man, with tresses of writhing snakes and the cruelly twisted visage of a woman. Every soldier who beheld her was turned to stone, the terror of their final moments etched upon their faces, yet Danaus was fleet of foot. And he knew no hesitation. A single, th single thrust of his blade was all it took to sever the beast's head. So swiftly was it done that she knew not her own death, and her terrible gaze lingered on, petrifying the next to meet it. Okay, this is the fourth entry of Ambrosius. Lord Phasus's genius knows no bounds. By avoiding all mention of forbidden magic in his research papers, he managed to earn the support of several high-ranking officials within the palace and thereby secure plentiful funding for his endeavors. In time, his work came to involve the rift traveled by pawns, beings feared in this nation as harbingers of calamity, and ultimately converged upon the ideas of summoning and controlling the dragon. Yeah, I am just free to go. Well, might as well do some exploring while we're here. Some interesting bits of info. Here's his first entry. Forbidden magic, as it came to be called, is a relatively new form of sorcery. It was first introduced a little over four decades ago by a self-proclaimed missionary who declared it to be a means by which mortal kind could forestall calamity. Of course, in this nation, calamity is but a euphemism for the ruinous advent of the dragon, and this new branch of spellcraft, with its roots in dark magic, was touted as a power to control the beast. 
those recruits don't go cobble. Okay, his fifth entry for many moons, our experiments proceeded apace. During that time, the fruits of my diligent study of ancient tomes allowed me to be of use to Lord Phasus. What's more, our contributions to the obviation of calamity saw the state grant us an official budget and furnish us with a research facility tailored to our aims. By the time this laboratory was erected, Lord Phasus' standing had become second only to that of the Empress. So Lord Phasus is very, very high ranking here. Um, speaking of Lord Phasus, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> no, this is Ambrosius, right, behind us? A new empress, Her Majesty Nadinia, was crowned, and yet the Forbidden Magic Research Laboratory has persisted, its research into the, into the dragon summons continuing unbroken. The information we gleaned from our excavation of Moonglint Tower proved vital in our attempts to render the power to command the pawns in crystal form. Eventually leading to our success. With this day, the day on which Lord Phasus will realize his ambition to conquer the dragon is surely nigh. Farseer's circlet. I can use it. It's not better. But it is very, very cool. If I am to put my hypotheses to the test. Yeah, you just don't care that I'm I guess because you know that I'm trying to collect crystals, at least you believe I'm collecting crystals for you. I I know that this is, you know, not what we set off to do, but surprise, surprise. Phasus' chamber. Here's the dormitory. And I can just walk into Lord Phasus' room. No questions asked. But there's nothing in his room. He's too smart to leave his writings here about. Hmm. I mean, I assume I'm going to be sent on a quest here eventually. Maybe it's once I've collected some of the larger crystals. But is there anything else for me to check out? What is down there and how do I get down there. I see a Seeker's token. I mean, I understand that's not what this is, but this does feel... It feels a little bit like the Everfall. Right? Halt! Entry beyond this point is clear at a glance that you are not one of them. As you do not wear the provided uniform, I've got my eye on you. Why am I being attacked? Do not... Am I going to jail? I'm going to jail. I was... I was already in there. What... <sighs> All right, well, I guess I can continue on with the other quest. Oh, where's all my gear? If you perform dubious deeds in cities, on castle grounds, or in other such places where order is enforced, you may find yourself surrounded by the guard, after which you will be arrested and thrown in jail. There are a number of paths to escape, but speaking with the jailer on watch is a good place to start. Oh, I love this. I love the fact that there is just... No easy way out. Will the jailer occasionally come up to me? Hey, you! Nope, nope! 
I don't. I'm not against bribing. Hold on. Pay watch you, and you can bid this sell goodbye. Okay, how much is it? Forty-two thousand. Hold your tongue. Gold. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, where's my stuff? It's not just on me, right? No. No, it certainly isn't. Now I gotta find where my stuff is. Okay. This is where things are a little bit on the... Oh, it just gives it back to you when you leave? Oh, that's silly. That's a bit silly, right? Ugh. That's disappointing. Um, I, I've talked about it before. You know, one of, one of my... One of my pet peeves, if you will, is just the fact that the... Ah, I'm not returning. I'm going back in. One of my pet peeves is just the fact that... The the stealthing and the whole jailing system and all that is just not it's not great. Like these people don't care. I just broke out of jail. I mean I just I just used a key to leave my jail and or leave my cell and I can just walk right past people. I don't have to sneak, I don't have to do anything of the sort. And that's just unfortunate. Listen to the oh in Vermin, I'll not be locked up in the field. I'm just taking a you... I'm gonna guess you're a snake based on the tattoos. Ugh. Good talk, thank you, Ash. Uh, there's some loot in that cell, which is peculiar. I guess I do have to go talk to Sermonella, huh? Is Sermonella all the way back at the Volcanic Island camp, though? Or is she back in the palace? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to travel there and put down a port crystal. But... But, but, but... Can I take this road so at least it's something new? Per chance. Or I could also just go in here. <laughs> Do you know how long you'll be? No, I have no I idea. So that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Oh, look. We're right here. How do I How do I get down? Off with you. No. How do I get down there? Okay, never mind. I'll just leave. I'll just leave and I'll think we'll We'll start making our way. Uh where was the way out that I just took? Oh, right here. Right in the center. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's go see if we can't start our journey. We do have a port crystal thanks to Silvarius. And I think that is absolutely going to be the best use. Real quick, though, take a look. Kind of just cut across the fields. Now, one of these roads is closed with a mysterious door. We learned that because of the phantom ox cart. That's, enough toil for one day, That's the palace. 
And this is the one we want. I don't think I've been down here, though. What is this place? Oh, this is the place with the gong that you can't ring, which is very disappointing. That's right. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. Yeah, so you've claimed. Oh, shoot, this is the door. But is there a way around it? I never really did go up that way. There's more to this place than meets the eye. Mark me. We shall find a reason to return here. Yeah, you're Maybe probably right. What needs to be done in time. Is this the forbidden research? Mm -hmm. But that is the forbidden research laboratory. But what is this place? History chamber, conference room, barracks. Okay. This could be interesting if these are open. Does the history chamber have a single book I can read? Uh, we believe we now have a firm understanding of the structure of the organized bandit gang active in the region. They have been recruiting more widely of late, leading to an increase in the number of inexperienced and fickle reprobates among their ranks who can more easily be persuaded to talk. I think I actually did end up reading this, didn't I? Yeah, because they know where the Coral Snakes hideout is. So at this point, if we know that the Coral Snakes are involved with the attack on Princess Nadinia, why can't I just learn of that location and uh and then go there yep ox cart raids yeah we definitely have uh been here well then seekers token come on if there's not, there really ought to be. What if I'm saying that and I've already collected the one from here? Well, shoot! In order to continue down this quest, I gotta run all the way back to the Volcanic Island Camp, and that was a journey. That was quite the journey. But I guess it's a journey I'll have to take, and this time I can put down a port crystal. I have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you. Yeah, you'll do fine, I know. I suppose all we can do is wait. Well, I suppose on that note, I'm going to continue to be the archer for a little while longer just because I haven't really got a chance to use... Well, really, the skills aren't all that different, so maybe I should just switch to fighter. Maybe I will switch to fighter. In between now and the next episode, because that is going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm hoping, and maybe we'll go step back real quick with Sarah just to see. I'm hoping that, that she gets fixed. Maybe? Maybe because I switched quests? I don't know. It just feels bugged. It doesn't tell me to come back. I brought her way more Glimmer Coal than she claimed she needed. So before we wrap up, she's still standing right there. Back again, I see. <sighs> I understand. Well, you know where to find me. Hmm. Well, hopefully we'll be able to advance that at some point. But for now, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying. And I will see you next time.